at least that's what a 2009 University of Leipzig study found, the researchers concluded that morning people were more proactive than evening types, but being an effective early riser isn't just about waking up before everyone else, it's about putting yourself in a positive mindset and getting important things done before everyone else, so there's no point in setting your alarm clock at a crazy early time if you're just going to zone out in front of the television for a bit before slouching off to work, to start your day right, you've got to get into some good habits, make a plan the night before, it's always helpful to have everything you need for the day laid out and ready to go when you wake up, make sure you're stocked on whatever you need for breakfast, write out a little schedule on what you need to accomplish the next day, this all sounds pretty simple, but when you're getting home at night, it's very tempting to just crash on the sofa with a glass of wine and leave all the thinking for tomorrow, wake up painfully early, in a poll of 20 executives cited by Laura Vanderkam, a time management expert and the author of What the Most Successful People Do Before Breakfast, 90% said they wake up before 6 a.m. on weekdays. Yes, this might sound awful, but if you get to sleep earlier, that'll numb the pain of such early wake-ups over time. The bottom line, productive mornings start with early wake-up calls, start the day right with exercise. The morning is probably the ideal time to exercise. By starting your day with exercise, you'll prevent yourself from putting it off. Tackle your high-priority projects. Work on your side hustle. A history teacher at the University of Chicago told that, she spent the hours between 6 and 9 working on a book about the religious politics of West Africa. She was able to read journal articles and write several pages before dealing with her teaching responsibilities. Enjoy the silence. Life can get crazy. It's often hard to find any moments to spare in your busy schedule. If you're always rushing around in the morning, it's difficult to imagine being able to spare any time to have a quiet moment, but practicing mindfulness isn't a waste of time. Try to reserve a few minutes for silent contemplation at the start of every day. You can use those peaceful moments to pray, meditate, envision your future success, or reflect on what you are grateful for whatever works for you. That short pause can put you in a great mindset for the rest of the day.